jinsi ya kufuncha nira ya kujeribu Overcoming the forces of limitation does not depend on God alone Pardon? Overcoming the forces of limitation does not depend on God alone Kushinda Kushinda ngufu sa kufinyeliwa Kusiriwa So inatagamea mungu tupeke yake Pardon? Pardon? Because you have an, you have an uh, responsibility as a Christian to arise and to pray about it. Kwa mhano una machukumu kama mkristo ya kuombea. So point number one. Ya kwanza. Point number one. How do I break the yoke of limitation? Ya kwanza. Point number one. How to break the yoke of limitation. Number ya kwanza chinsi ya kufuncha nila ya kufujimini. Have consistent relations with God. Kuwa na mausiano na mungu. Have consistent the relationship with God. Point number two: read and start and meditate the Word of God, and the God is destiny. Yangine ni akwamba ukakusakua karibu na kuchukulia manani chini na na mungu. Okay, ano injiangi na bibiri ya kanisa ni apa noto bo. Wewe unesakua mchawa. Another point. Ya tatu. Point number two or three. Number two. Three. Divine your purpose or your purpose of existence and discover your place in destiny. Kuwa. Badun. You need me to talk about some badun badun. Divine your purpose of existence and discover your place in destiny. Elewa na mali ambu na fa kuwa mali pako ya. Ni vizuri kuelewa at where you are supposed to be you have to understand you have to know where you are supposed to be ni vya mwaka kwa isa kuelewa mali ambapo na fakua kwa sako na watu wanaishi ngambo saa hii lakini wako supposed kuhishi wapi hapa kaptemba na wengine wanaka hapa kaptemba saa hii wako supposed kuhishi kia mwenye lakini anaka anandalia kusema tunaandaliwa mungu anatuanda soon and very soon tutatoka hapa na sasa hapo mahali anasema ameandaliwa si Mungu amemweka. Sikiza nikwambie. Wewe ukiwa na mwito, hata si mwito, tuacha mambo ya mwito. Unaweza kaa hivi ukiwa na nini? Na bibi yako kwa nyumba, bibi yako anakuambia, "Ai, bwanangu, ulitoa ushuhuda leo ukatetemesha kanisa ukasema haleluya." Paka kila mtu alikuwa anatetemeka hivi. Alafu bibi akwambie, "Kwa sababu bibi unajua kuongezea, wewe unaweza kuwa pale." Unaweza kuwa pasta mkupo kuliko apostle. Yaani bibi anakufanya pasta chikoni. Ukiwa na yeye tu anakufanya pasta. Chikoni tu mkiwa chikoni mnakunywa chai. Alafu unasema ni hivyo? Mama Kairobo ni hivyo? Wewe ujuangi, bibi unasema wewe ujuangi. Wewe? Eh? Wewe ujuangi? Bwana hiyo ni Saturday. Bwana anachichasa Saturday Sunday hapa. Anasema hai, hai, hai. Anafanya kitu hivi amekuwa tembo leo shikwa nini nasikia ngufu zingine hapa sasa kawaida hey! eh eh mama garubo ulisikia jana maneno na sasa wamefanya wame se, setup na bibi yake sasa wakati akisimama bibi yake ndiye anaongea sauti kubwa anasema haleluya na bwana yake hata hajaongea anasema haleluya kutoka kwa kiti sasa ana, anasimama anasema usiku nilionyeshwa nikiwa pasta hapa na si kuonyeshwa ni bibi alimfanya pasta jikoni na pasta pasta wa kanisa naye akiwa na huruma na yeye tu hataki maneno mengi anasema wewe ni pasta kuanzia sasa hata anaombea kanisa Munisikize na nikuonyesha kitu hapo unaona mahali shida itakuwa Munisikize ataenda akiwa na kanisa watu watu wakimkwasa anaenda kwa bibi watu wakimongeresha mbaya aende kwa Mungu hata ataenda kwa ile pasta anaenda kwa bibi anaenda na ongeresha bibi na mwasi wewe ndio uliniambia hii kazi mimi hata sikutaka mimi hata mimi si nilikukata sanga mimi siwe ndio niliamenga jikoni siku ile mimi sitaki hizo Sikiza uniangalie Mungu Mungu akikuita aimanishi utapitia mambo lakini ujue wakati ambao Mungu amekuita hata ukipitia mambo mazito anakupea neema ya kusonga Amen Wakati ambao umejiita ukipitia mambo unajipepa mwenyewe Wewe mwenyewe tu ndio unajipepa lakini Mungu akiwa amekuita hata ukianguka ana kuzimamisha amen 
ukiwa bibi yako amekuita ama bwana yako ukianguka bibi yako ndiye anakuja kukutoa chini nakwambia simama tuende bado utakuwa pasta bado wewe utasonga waacha kutishwa bwana wangu wewe simama tu chipange mafuta fast suit ile ready chipiga power but now the challenge is we bibi na siku itafika choke lakini mungu achokange bibi atakuamsha msha akikwambia vile bibi ya nani ya ayubu anaambia ayubu ile kitu unafanya tukana na mungu fanye nini kwa sababu kila ambacho Mungu ameweka ndani yako hakuna mtu ataiondoa unajua as long as you have a call it's na, it's now sasa ukitoa pasta unisikize ukitoa pasta sasa hivi unisikize ukitoa pa hata 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 ukufe usiku wakati unakufa kwa matanga inasomwanga fulani pasta tumepoteza pa na wale wanasoma kwa matanga hawakukua hata siku ukiombewa pasta Awaku kwa Sasa hii inadanga mpaka kwenu mpaka mashamba Unakuwa umewekwa kwa wali hivi kila mahali Hata siku moja unaenda ukienda kumua mboga unasimama unasema mbona mnaelekea watu watu mboga hivi hii ni ujinga na mtu anasema pasta laki Kuna nyama sasa sema pole Nani mkwambie mimi unapandisha nani mkwambie mimi ni pasta pole Sasa pasta laki Yenda na my wife akanunua ile ile sheet hizo sisi tunaenda na kuralia akapata mama moja kaanza kununua hiyo sheet anamwambia unachoa mnaibia watu sana mnaibia si si unyoshie miambili anasema akamwambia mnaibianga watu sana nini mnaibianga watu hivi mama akamwambia hapana pasta hata jana shilifundisha bible study kanisani ukasema tusiibie mtu ile vitu tuliacha hata mimi nilikuwa nafanya sikuwa chacha hata tukatoka na hivyo kitoko kena ngao Tumia wongo. Tumia wongo. Haka nyamansa. Haka nsa. Oh, ni wewe. Tutanua kesu. Ya tukuja kesu kumua. Ile kurusedi muna pati wana nona ubiri huko. Unasimumu na wakosa program. Enda alibu ushuda. Ndiya kwa wali mbae. Hansa kukaa kwa wakali. Unaitisho pesa. Unahansa kuseme di. Wacha na hira atalipa. Naidisha pesa kwenda town nasema hiyo raida atalipa. Kuna mahali alikuwa anaenda kasi. Ya serikali. Eh? Mtu anakurisi. Si wewe ulikuwa unaongoza huko mkutano kurusidi. Ah ah, si mambo ya kurusidi bwana. Ni mambo ya fair tunaongea sasa hivi. Biblia inasema sisi ni nini? Mapadua inafanya nini? Ukisimama hapa kuimba vile unaimbia watu. Sio sisi peke yake unaimbia. Unaimbia hapa una mahali utaenda kutafuta kazi ukiingia hivi yule anakukaribisha unaenda kuuliza kazi upate na mtu alikuwa kwa kuruseti eh unaingia tu unasema oh wewe ni wewe nasema yes come in nakwambia yes are you karo unaanza <laughs> si karo umelijuaje si ulikuwa kuruseti pale ukiimba hapa sio sisi unaimbianga peke yake Unaona ukiomba maombi hapa kama hii maombi mlikuwa mnaongoza mnaongoza anga watu wanaoji hii maombi uliza pecha waambie kama hii mmeomba saa hii unapata watu kama elfu moja kuna ile kitu inaonyesha pale watu kama kama ile nyimbo tulisitengeneza na nyingi pecha saa hii watu ngapi wame eh ile wimbo tuliimba hapa na nyingi imeenda kila mahali ile tulikuwa worship na nyingi na tutafanya hiyo sande imeenda mbali sasa usi usifikirie Usifikiri ukisimama hapa kuhubiri ama kuimba ama kuongoza program ni sisi unaongoza peke yetu. Kuna watu wengi wanakufuata mpaka wa kwenu. Hata maadui zako hata ile mlitukana na yeye ako anakuangalia. Ukifika kwa broti anaanza kusema watakati. <laughs> Wamerudi leo. Wame <laughs> Watakati. Karibu kwa geti watakatifu. Na ujui ni wanaimba. wanajidanganya unajua ndio you know, kuna watu wanakupika kwa vita kwa broti lakini unajua ni wewe unapigwanga mtu anachukua mangu anaanza kufua anasema 
Wanajifanya wameokoka jana mui na wangocha nipe anaita mtu nipe hiyo sabuni nipe hilo omo wanajifanya wameokoka jana mui na wangocha jana mu na unasema mama mora uko hapo anasema eh tuko salama oh mtu ndio ameamka na ni wanaimba wanajifanya wameokoka wanajifanya wana mapurausi mapurausi waiti jana mu na sasa utumie bongo juu umefaa brosi white. Ah? Usi wa, usikuje kujichasa hapa ndani. Ukosa kujichasa mahali unaishi. Kwa sababu kuna watu wanafanya nini? Wanakufuata. Eh? Amen. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kuna watu wanafanya nini? wanakufuata mahali ambayo unafanya biashara tengeneza nini ushuhuda mahali ambayo unaishi tengeneza nini ushuhuda wacha mpaka kitaa hilo unaralia juu umeokoka si unajua unazunguka hapo unasema eti 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 si wacha nikwambie si unazunguka hapa na usao wezi pasta wezi nini unazunguka unapewa program kuongoza unapewa nini Wacha nikupe siri. Ukienda kwenu saa hii, ujui ile neema umepepa kutoka hapa. Unasikia watu wanakuita mtumishi, na wewe si mtumishi. Kwenu mashamba, saa hii hata waenda next week. Sikana nasema, "Eh, hey, mtumishi. Mtumishi tuombe." Na na wewe si pasta, lakini ile neema umepepa hapa ni ya utumishi. Si lazima ito, si lazima ito pasta ndio kwe pasta. Wewe wewe already ni mtumishi kuna watu hapa kwa mabrodi zao wanaitwa mapastors lakini hapa ndani mnawajua ni maasha kwa sababu gani jana nilisimama kanisa saa 5 nikamaliza ibada saa 11 nilisimama kwa madhabahu nikiombea watu 5 tuko wapi Point number Point number four, give yourself to prayer and the fasting. Kitoe kwe kuwa mwombachi na pia kufunga. Eh. Listen this. In your prayer, ask God to reveal katika maombi yako the mystery behind your lineage and the solution. Mungu akaweza kufulfill ile maoni mwito wako. Don't don't panic. Point number five. Give yourself to hard work and commitments. Chitolee kwako katika kila kasi. Point number 6 don't be satisfied about your present position. Usifa, usif, usif, usione kama kwamba umefika mahali ambako huko. Wadau watu wengine anapea wenga cheo kidogo kanisani. Asimamie brother and worship. Saa hii anakuwa mkupwa mpaka jikoni. Mpaka jikoni anaambiwa wewe simamia a uh, nini Asha simamia wa mama sasa anasimamia mpaka pasta kwake anamuuliza ujamuka tunakuja jaji ni mama kanisa anasimamia wa mama sasa anaulizaka pasta mpaka sasa watu wamechaka kanisa uchafika eh alenda mpaka kwa pasta jaji anakonga mrana anasema unalala na tuko kanisani kwa maumbi kwa maombi bwana tuko wapi lakini tuko wapi shaka na mali ambapo uko tuko wapi lakini sasa bwana yesu asifiwe amen umepata kitu can be allowed to get married but there is no peace. Unaweza kuruhusiwa kuweza kuhoa lakini hautakuwa na amani. Unaweza kuruhusiwa ufae nguo kama hii lakini una mshibi. You may be allowed to wear a nice suit but you don't have a belt. Huh? Unaweza kuruhusiwa ufae vizuri lakini una leso. You may be allowed to wear nicely but you don't have a leso. Leso ni
in our lives unataka kufuncha kila nila zote za kusikia and the visible yoke of limitation zenye sinaonekana na sira sionekani yote ya kufinyiriwa praise with the name of the lord amen i want us break it in the name of jesus nafumba ya kwamba ikaweze kufunjwa leo kwa to deliver us mungu ataweze kutukomboa from the limitation of the devil from the forces of the devil kutoka kwa kila nguvu zote za shetani voices of limitation speaking against us hata kila sauti zote za kufikiriwa zinasema silence in the name of jesus kaweza kunyamanzisha kwa jina lake silence in the name of jesus kaweza kunyamanzisha kwa jina lake voices of limitation speaking against our families kila sauti zote za kufikiriwa zinazungumza kwa niaba ya silence in the name of jesus kaweza kunyamanzisha kwa to destroy every weapon of limitation working concerning our destiny mungu akaweza kuharibu kila 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 nguvu zote za kuvinyiliwa katika maisha yetu in the name of jesus christ kwa jina la yesu christ by the power of god kwa nguvu za mungu by the power of god kwa nguvu za mungu we are going to come out of the limitation of the devil today Unaenda kutoka katika kila njia zote za kufinyiriwa sana. You are not born to suffer to struggle. Hauko salio ukaweza kuangaika na kuteseka. There is a good plan God had in your life. Kuna mipango mizuri Mungu alikuwa nayo maisha yako. I want to stand in the presence of the Lord today. Nataka tukasimame kwa uwepo wa Mungu. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. I want you to pray. Nataka tukaweza kuomba. I want you to ask the will of God in your life. Nataka tukaweza kuulisha mapenzi ya Mungu maisha I want you to tell God to put you where he wants you to be. Nataka kuweza kumwambia Mungu akuweke mahali ambako anataka. I want you to tell God to remove you wherever the devil had ordained you to. Unataka kumwambia Mungu akuweze kukondoa mahali popote shetani. Because there is a will of God in your life. Maana kuna mapenzi ya Mungu katika maisha yako. Some people who are in this meeting, watu wengi walio katika kongamano, you are supposed to understand the will of God in your Unafaa kuelewa mapenzi ya Mungu katika maisha yako. Enter your promise land in the name of Jesus. Unafaa kuweza kuingia katika nchi ambayo ile. Ninatangaza kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Hakuna mtu anahitaji kukalia baraka zako. Hakuna mtu anahitaji kukalia nyumba yako. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. 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 Kristo nataka tuende darasa bwana kwambie bwana siku ya leo ninatangaza kwa jina la Yesu Kristo every satanic limitation must be broken in the name of Jesus must be broken in the name of Jesus kwa jina la Yesu Kristo kila kisisi maisha yako kila kisisi maisha yako must be broken in the name of Jesus by the power of God by the power of God every limitation every satanic limitation must be broken in the name of Jesus must be broken in the name of Jesus must be broken in the name of Jesus by the power of God by the power of God every limitation every limitation must be broken must be broken shakarama shake it sika and let you arise and let you arise for the kai say to hesa and let we arise no sakaka kachaika for the kai say to hesa then she will be killed and let we arise for chele kwambie usipo inoka
Tuondoke kwa viti kwa chapa. Swiss pray together. Kuna vitu nataka tuvunje. Kuna vitu nataka tuvunje. Kuna vitu nataka tukate kate. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Kila limitation mahali uliyowekwa. Tunaivunja vunja leo. Ina Jesus, you are going to be blessed. Maria 